Ready? This is Moses from Wilderness Cave, and here's my son. Say hi. Yep. Okay, I guess that's hi. So we're going to continue on uh, from the last episode, uh, the party, you know, um, magically uh, appeared here in a dungeon, uh, tripping a trigger, and we are um, in this dungeon now, uh, so if you want to you know, find out how far we've gotten, which is not that far, but what we've done so far. Um, you have to watch the other episode, and I'll, if I remember, I'll link it up in this episode right now so you guys can see that info card. Um, so right now, I think what we ended was we had a partially failed role with uh, Damara, our bard, right over here. Um, hitting, I think, rat number three, but because it was partially failed, I think it was partially failed. I'm not too sure if it was a full she failure or it, or, um, partially fa or partially and failed. Gorm, she got a fail and Gorm threw up. And yeah, threw Gorm, up on Gorm, and Gorm threw up on Damara and notified all the other rats that there's somebody else right here. And Gorm threw up in Damara's mouth. Yeah, a little bit in the mouth too. So, <laughs> oh, so because of that, she is no longer invisible. So let's take that off. So Damara now is there, she's at 14. These numbers are the health, HP. So she's 14 HP out of 19. He's 22, Gorm's 22 out of 23 because he kissed the poison, poison, cheese. poison cheese. My idea. Yeah. And this two out of two, this is Sinithel the Druid, uh, turned into a falcon. Two out of two is how many moves uh, she gets with um, uh, being uh, shapeshifted into a falcon. And Avon the Wizard, 17 out of 17. They don't have much, you know, armor at all, so they're way in the back. And this is also in the bottom right is Sinithel. I just kept her here. So when the moves are over, I delete the Falcon and drag Sinithel in her human form, or elf form, human, um, back into this. Uh, okay, then. I think... All right, we got to go. What are you going to do, Shant? Oh, wait, let's see if I have to do anything. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Scene set up. You know, sometimes it's weird to do for everybody watching for solo play, which my channel mostly is about. When you continue on right when you left off, sometimes it's not a new scene. You know, if the scene didn't end, I usually don't refer back to the fate chart to see if anything's interrupted. I mean, there's no, you know... But because it could cause some craziness, let's do it. So, let's see. Gorm Adventure, or not the Gnome Adventure. We'll notice Cave Adventures. Chaos Rank 5. Uh, I didn't do a scene setup. The scene setup basically is we're just going to continue fighting. So, let's do a... This doesn't count. The second roll will. Let's do a D10. And a 5 or below. The scene has been modified. 1. The scene has been modified. Which, it's a... Even number, so it's interrupt. So something drastically changed. Probably because of the throw up and the screaming. Something drastically changed to interrupt this scene. And if we go to interrupt scene, we have to go to, directly to... Can I pick the interrupt? I wonder if we can go directly to the event focus. I wonder if we could just do directly to event focus. That's for random events. Okay. So, we're going to go to the action and subject. Something happens. So, a D100. This doesn't count. It's the second roll that counts. D100 on the action. 54. What's 54, Sean, on the action? Um, kill. Kill. Something happens. Well, so we're, we're going to find out on this next roll. Kill. <laughs> That's always a good way to start the episode. Kill. Oh, you know what? While we were at this, Alexa, set timer 15 minutes. Keep these episodes short and sweet. Okay, all right, Alexa. <laughs> Alexa, leave us alone. God. Anyways, so ready on the subject? What's, what's this one? Kill? Here we go. Now what's this? Subject. 77. Subject is trials. Kill the trials. So 
Prior so we're two. now okay. Everybody, that's like, oh, that's a double. It's not a double when you're rolling for the um, the uh, what do you call them? The action and subject doubles work when you're rolling for the fate chart. Uh, so okay. the doubles in this case, and it's above the five chaos rank. So if it was even if it was on the fate chart, it doesn't matter because it's a seventy-seven, which is a chaos rank of seven or below. Anyways, so kill what? Trials. Trials. So we had a trial of getting through this door. So there's another trial to get through this door. Well, we and we have to kill something. That means something sinister. Something evil. I, what giant? A Sha mage? Hold on, Sean. In solo, in solo, one moment. In solo, we never choose what's going to be there because it is no fun. I'm going to put a stone golem there. It's no fun, because I get, I get to think about what it is. What we're going to do, Shant, what's the best way to do this? I said it before we started recording. That's why I'm like, you didn't listen. What's the best thing to do? Um, roll oh, the dice. On? The dice. On? The, oh. the fate chart. No, not the... We roll on a, on a table. Okay. That's how you could randomize this whole thing, okay? Also, one extra thing. Maybe if we could we roll if it's like half something. Half something? Like if it like something else as well. Like half, half. Like you half mean like a half vampire, half something else? Yeah. That's, that's too much for me to handle, Sean, what, the, what that's going to be. So yeah. right now, what we're going to do, we're going to roll. Let's get maze rats. <clears throat> no, you know what? I don't do perilous wilds enough. I don't do Perilous Wilds. Let's get Perilous Wilds going. Okay, here we go. A beast. What should beast be? You know what? We're going to do monster. We're going to roll 1 to 7 is unusual. 8 to 10 is rare. 8 to 10. God dang. Ten. 8 to 10 is rare. And 11 to 12 is legendary. So let's get this out of here. And let's get a D12. And this roll doesn't count. So we're going to roll to see if it's unusual, rare, or legendary. It is unusual. Okay, then we roll again. This is within Perilous Wilds, everyone. Uh, supplement for Dungeon World, actually. Fitting. And we do it again. Let's see. What is going to be shot? One. Plant. A plant or a fungus? Plant. So there's going to be a plant in here. There's going to be a plant. A giant vinous plant that's going to that eat us? Hold on. We're going to find out. Maybe the maze rats has something. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Timer's going. Timer's going. Timer. Hold on. If, if I don't find it in a minute, we're going to just pick something. 11 minutes left. Thank you, Sean. If I don't find something, we're just going to pick something. We're going to say it's like a, a weird... Well, mushroom is not... Plant. We're going to say it's a mush... Okay, here's poisonous plants. Oh, you know what we could do? It's not something... It's something that could kill us or really hurt us. It's a poisonous plant that we have to pass through. That's invincible. We have to roll the dice to see if we could we could pass it and we'll roll it with uh, discern realities each player Okay, ready? So this is this is how this works is 2d6s. So one Doesn't come the first one. All right, so this is gonna be you know what? Let me start this over. This will be a Two uh, how it works is a 2d6. So this is gonna be This is the first roll a six and then the next roll <laughs> Come on! What? <laughs> okay, fine. A six and a six. Twelve. Okay, twelve. It's wormwood. Wormwood. What's that? It's a, it, it's something we don't really want to touch. But I think sometimes people have. I don't quote me on it, but I've heard of people using wormwood in some kind of drinks and stuff like that. Could be wrong. Uh, do not drink anything with any herbs that you don't know what they are. So wormwood. So there's gonna be wormwood here. That can harm us. Uh, we'll do a D4 on harm. Okay, but we have to do discern realities on each one. Let's go. We got to kill a rat. 
So, Damara, uh, Gorm, what are you going to do? Gorm's just going to try to slap one in the face. I'll slap one in the face. Okay, <laughs> do hack and, Okay, do hack and slash with a D, um, two D6s. Here we go. Gorm, hack and slash, two D6s. Here we go. Say one, two, three. One, two, three. You got a full success plus your modifier. So Thank you too. roll, you roll oh. your damage. Your damage is a D10. You're going after rat number three? Yep. Okay. What a shame. It's almost dead anyways. D10. Next roll. Let's see. A nine. You really just uh, chopped it in half right there. He's going, oh, cha -cha! You really just chopped it in half. Okay. Well, let's, I guess. Let me let's, guess. Let's, Demar uh, what's, what's Demar that's gonna gone. Say? What is Demar going to say? I don't know. Demar's <laughs> like, yeah, Gorm, you finally did something. Oh, ugh. <laughs> Uh, I could still taste. I could still taste what you ate yesterday in my mouth from all the throw up. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go quick. Okay, uh, I'm the druid, right? Yeah, I'm the druid. Okay, the druid goes in. The druid goes in and attacks. Um, uh, hold on. I'll just do hack and slash. Druid goes in and attacks. Oh, it's okay, Sean. Don't worry about the timer, son. Come on. Eight minutes left and no, then let's hurry up. <laughs> let's hurry up. Eight minutes left and ten seconds. Let's hurry up. So let's roll for the druid going to attack the and and uh, because of uh, she's a falcon, she could just the uh, the movement doesn't matter because she's so quick. Um, and I don't really follow movement that much unless like here. You know, this is really far. Avon's really far. Okay, druid's checking number four. Here we go. A God, why is it stuck? A six plus, does she have anything? Where's my druid? Minus one, five. It's a neg, it's, it's not good. So let's go here. She has one more to do and she, it's, it's not good for her. So it's not good for her. So she is going to get bit. So um, what do you call it? Uh, she goes down, Sinithel goes down as a falcon, starts screeching, tries to get that rat number four. The rat sees her, turns around and bites her foot really hard. And what do we say the rats are? I know I wrote it down. They have eight HP, they have one armor. One plus armor. Yeah, but what is their... Um... Damage? Yeah. Did I not write that? I think they're like two damage. No. They roll... Mercy, 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 mercy. Well, regardless, we'll say they're a 1d6. They're a 1d6 on damage. Oh, God. He can bite. Yeah, well, we'll see right now. She can we, we'll see. We can see what they are right now. Let's see. 1d6 on damage. This doesn't count. We roll three. So, Sinithel gets three off her life. She's over here. So, three, 19 minus uh, three is what, Sean? 16. So this is when you have kids, you can teach them a lot of math, especially when you use modifiers. It's a lot, uh, it takes a lot of uh, brain processing power to do all those modifiers. Okay, brain so. Brain processing power. Anyways, okay. So Sinithel did not work. Nothing happened to rat number four. Let's get Avon in here. I am Avon as well. well I'm Avon, am I? Or, oh no, you are. Okay, what are, you gonna, what are you gonna do? So he's gonna walk in on the door to the first step and he's going to use a magic. Okay, what magic are you going to do? He's going to cast it on all of them. All of them? If you can. Well, you have magic missile. Okay, magic missile. Magic missile. Let me read it, Sean. Projectiles of pure magic spring from your fingers deal 2d4 damage. To all of them. To, no, it's one. It's one of them. One of them. Okay. Okay, so you're saying he moves here. And cast the magic, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, to cast, My guess, it's gonna hit. One moment. Cast magic. You roll plus intelligence, which is the plus two. So roll 2d6 plus two. Here we go. Nine plus two is... Uh, what's nine plus two? Eleven. Eleven. So success. So you roll and you, you shoot just... <laughs> You know, like whatever you could say to just what what kind of word you're gonna to use to, to cast your magic spell. 
Dibbly dobbly do. <laughs> Make yourself disappear. <laughs> Dibbly dobbly do make yourself disappear. <laughs> to rat number four. Okay, now how much, How? what can it do now? What damage? D, 2d4. 2d4, what does that mean? Um, Get the d4 out. Okay, but how many? Two. One. Two. two. Now let's re-roll, count to three. One, two, three. Oh man, only two. You want... Well, you got two damage against them. And, and one's wobbly. Now, what's eight, what's eight minus two? Six. And then... Okay, one, that's it. One of them are wobbly. Okay, so that, that's it all hit. he gets. Okay, now, Damara's turn. Let me see what I could do for... Do I have Damara? Who do I... Yeah, I got Damara. What can I do right now? Oh, I could heal. You know, I've never healed with a bard in Dungeon World. <laughs> I'm going to try to heal myself. So when you weave a performance into a basic spell, choose an ally and an effect. Oh, wait, I can't heal myself? Nope. Choose an ally. Who's really hurt? Um. How much does Damara have? 16? All right, I'm going to try to heal Damara. I'm going to try to heal... Well, I don't know if I get... Could... Yeah, I could heal Damara. That's right. Okay, I'm going to try to heal Damara. 1D... Heal 1d8 worth of damage. Okay, here I go. What do I roll for this? Roll on chariz uh, charisma, plus two on charisma. So 2d6. Let's re-roll it. And a complete failure. And a complete failure. Okay, your spell still works. Oh wait, that's a, that's a seven and nine. Um, I wonder if it's a complete failure. What happens? What happens if it's compute failure? It doesn't really tell me. It, the heal explodes. Does it does it backfire on me? I guess it backfires. Ma magic can backfire. So I don't it think it's So I don't I don't think it can uh, do too much damage. I don't know where it is, and I have to look through the book and I'm not doing that right now. So I'm gonna make a call on this. If it backfires on me, it's a... Uh, <laughs> um uh, it's We'll do a 1d8 damage on myself. Here we go. <laughs> Just great. So here we go. Three damage on myself. So what happened is I try to heal. Um, I try to heal Sinithel, the Falcon, really her. Uh, but I but it backfired on me. So I'm like this. I heal you, my friend. And all of a sudden, you know, like my back goes out. I'm like, oh, my back. And I, and I flick. I flick my, I don't know what the, she, the flute or whatever she could, she has, and it flutes to my face. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it, hits to the... it hits me in my eyeball. Ah! <laughs> and I got three damage from it. <laughs> and Sinithel's like, were you just trying to heal me? Yeah, but it didn't work, and my eye is burning, and I still have throw up in my mouth. I hate this. <laughs> And Gorm just laughs. <laughs> Puny little Darmara. Gorm's turn. Gorm's turn, quick. Gorm tries to punch the rat in the face. Okay, which rat? Rat number four. Number four. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Eight plus two. Okay. Strength is a ten. That's a complete success. Roll on your... Um, David. Damage. Oh, you know what? Well, that's if you're surrounded. Uh, before we keep going, if these rats start moving closer, then it, when the rat attacks us, you have to say plus one and plus two for how many rats. But since the rats are far away from Damara or from Sinithel as well, she didn't get as much. But you know what? Because this rat's next to her, she's going to lose another one. That's a plus one. That's how Dungeon World works. Sorry. That's how Dungeon World works. So she gets another one off because she had one next to her. Okay, now, Alexa, add two minutes to timer. So we'll finish this off right here. Let's do a D10, ready, count to three. One, two, three. Five damage compared to the rat. The rat is at one health. 
But then Goran punches himself in the face. No, already. that's if he failed. So they have only one health right here. Let's move this out of the way a little bit. Okay. Yeah. I want right. to make every video of a... Okay, so... Okay, so, 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 Avon, with full health, of course. Avon. Um, you know what? No, I'm going to try Sinithel right now. Sinithel. Sinithel just tries to attack again, I guess, for a... For a... Who's Sinithel? Me again. Dang, I keep forgetting. Sinithel tries to attack for a D6 to finish off Rat 4. Can she do it? Can she do it? Her strength is a negative 1. Here we go. Yes, a 10. She did it completely. So uh, D6, she's going to succeed. Okay, whatever. She succeeded. 4, boom. That rat's gone. Oh, no. That's it. All right. Now, I hope all of you watching, I understand it's a little, you know, when you're, you're, you're trying to teach your children how to play, it's going a little slower. But when you're in combat, you see how much faster this is compared to other systems. That's why I love Dungeon World and Savage Worlds and Tiny Dungeon. By the way, we're going to be playing di Tiny Dungeons too pretty soon. Okay, then. Oh, that, that's it. She used her two moves. Boom, send it those back. She transformed back. Okay, and I'm gonna roll some of the rats come closer. Okay. Oh, All right, now going. it's uh, Avon's turn. Okay. Um, let me see who's the Okay, after after mm -hmm. Avon's turn, and then we'll see. Alexa, stop timer. He's gonna detect magic if there's magic anywhere in this hallway. He's not going to do damage. He's going to see if there's magic in this hallway. He's going to see if there's magic. Yes. Well. Even oh. in here. Okay. You mean this whole hallway he's going to see before this door, he's going to see if there's magic. Yep. Okay. So where where is that? Detect. Read it to me. Okay. Detect magic. Detect magic. One of your senses is briefly attuned to magic. The GM will tell you what happens. Okay, when the, the GM will tell you what happens, I'm not a GM. I'm a player too. So we go to the fate chart and we roll on action and subject to tell us what it is. Okay, so roll on intelligence. That's a plus two. Let's we'll get your D6s in here. Count to one, two, three. One, two, three. Six plus two is an eight. So an eight... You draw unwelcome attention, put yourself in the spot. A spell disrupts the fabric of reality. Uh, you get negative one ongoing until your next time you prepare spells. That's really bad. After your cast, the spell is forgotten. You forget the spell and you have to relearn it when you sleep. So it might be best if you say you draw unwelcome attention. Unwelcome attention, what's that? Okay, we'll find out. We gotta roll. So we gotta roll for two fate charts now. If it's a death mage, then oh god. <laughs> it's a death mage. One moment. We're gonna... Death mage can summon dead stuff. Okay, that's a, a necromancer. I think that's how you pronounce it. I, they're actually dead death summoners, I think. Yeah, okay. I, I like to call them mage Okay, summoners. for the magic now. For the magic now, let's roll for magic. Okay. So magic. count to three. One, two, three. Okay, for the action, what's the action shot? You want um, oppress. Oppress. You know what that means? No. That means like um, hold someone back, like like someone's trying to get up a hill and you keep pushing them down. Something that's there's a there's a obstacle in front of us, an obstacle. Oh, okay. Here. We don't know yet. We don't know what, we have no idea. We don't want to guess. Remember, Sean, like I told you, don't guess because it makes the story boring. You have to always roll for it. So what's the subject, Sean? Oppress. 89. Um, portals. Portals. Oh, God. And how we got in here was a, was a portal. Let me guess. They're from different dimensions that are terrible. So the magic that you detected in here it's has... Portals. Has has a portal that, I need to write this down. The magic you detected in this hallway has a portal that enemies come through. 
Oh God, I'll, write, I'll write it later. Uh, portal, portal, enemies come through. Okay, now we need to roll again for your um, unwelcome detention, which probably comes through the, which probably comes through the portal. Yeah. Portal enemies, you see how all that works, Shant? You, we rolled up portals and we rolled a partial failure, which, which brings unwelcome attention, which means something's gonna come through that portal we just rolled for. Like a giant or something? Something big. Let's try something big. Well, we don't... Once again, Sean, what do we do? Roll the dice. On? The table. That's right. We don't guess what's gonna come through. But Maybe it's a big. mouse. Maybe something well, big. Why do you want something big? You wanna die? No, I want it to make it more interesting. The more interesting? Sean, I have throw up in my mouth. Okay? I think I'm good right now with interesting. Yeah, I know they're cave rats, but there was six of them, and they almost killed us. Nope. Damara's almost half-life, Shant. Eight, oh no, nine, she's at half-life. Anyways, okay, so portal enemies, what's going to go in? Let's do this again. Let's see. Let's see, Shant. So, action is, go. No, wait. Forty-four. Um, so, action, let's see, 44. Release. Release, that sounds amazing. What comes to this portal? 83. Okay. 83. Riches. Release the riches. Hmm. What in the heck could that mean? A giant golem that's rich. <laughs> A uh, giant golem. What's go you and golems and rich? Uh, golden. No. A golden. Okay, what happens is something comes through the portal. But when it dies, it has a lot of jewelry and gold in it. If we kill it, that means it has to be. So let's big. go to let's go to maze rats. A big thing, that means. That means a big thing. Yeah. A little, a little, a, a little ch a, 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 a gnome can have a ten-pound bar of uh, gold on it. It doesn't matter how big you are. What do we do now with the dice? On the table. Right, so we don't know if it's big or small. We roll, we have no idea. What's interesting, Shant, in solo play is you don't know what's going to happen. That's how you make things interesting. It's kind of like reading a book that hasn't been written yet or watching a movie you've never seen yet. So let's roll on Maze Rats. Richie Rich. Let's roll on Maze Rats for a monster. Monster. Um, monster speciality. Monsters. I don't really like the. A lot of the a lot of the monsters. See, it says monsters and animals, but. What about the monster weakness? We should find out the monster weakness. Hold on. Or their weakness. What comes through? See, the monsters in, in, as far as I could see, in Maze Rats are animals that you want to mutate into a monster. So, we're not going to do that. We're going to go through Xanathars. I could do it on... You know what? I'll do it quick. Xanathar's a big book right now for this. I'm going to do it on... Oh my god, if we get a dragon. Okay. We're going to do it on Perilous Wilds again, on Monster again. Okay, and the monster is going to have a lot of money on it. So let's roll. It's a D12s with a lot of the Perilous Wild, or everything on Perilous Wild is D12s. Okay, so D12, not this roll, the next one. It is... Seven. Is it unusual? Yep. Rare? Okay, it's unusual. Seven. Okay, let's, one. let's roll again, and let's see what type of unusual. What is it? Two. Another plant or fungus? A fungus. Okay, well, well, a fungus monster. Well, I can make a, sick and a big, sick huge, a big, huge mushroom came through. That, that can make us sick? Uh, a kind no, of plant. I have no idea it can make us sick or not. All I know is that I need to write down there's wormwood that we all have to pass or get sick. And now. And now there's a big mushroom person, like a fungus looking like someone that, that has mushrooms all over its bodies. Mushroom body. Maybe it'll release 
Maybe we can pick a gold or a, a, re, a le, release a powerful person. I don't know. We, we'll we'll, we'll fight. Like the boss, like have like we, twenty health or we, we 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 have to figure it out. Let's see how much health this guy has. Well, I have to go through books. What if he smashed us and it took like ten damage just for one smash? <laughs> I kind of wish you didn't roll uh, detect magic. That's what I'm wishing right now. Because if you didn't detect magic, we wouldn't have a mushroom, a mushroom giant thing that's coming through a portal probably from over here that we don't even know about yet. We have wormwood that we all have to pass by and not get sick and get hurt, like a 1d4 damage. And we still have two rats that are at full health. Oh my god. So... Uh, oh, the G! Throw the cheese. Yeah, we still have three cheese left. Two cheese, goodbye. Wee wee. But I don't think they care about the cheese anymore because they're fighting us. And just, no, just shove it in their face. Let's shove it in their face. Let's go. Okay, oh, well. Not. Okay, well, let's uh, let's stop here. Goodbye, let's stop. everybody. Okay, well, you don't just say goodbye, Sean. That's, I wish you could just say that sometimes, but when you're presenting to people, they like to be calmed down. Okay. Let's recap. Let's see what happened. So, well, we already said that all this weird stuff happened. Um, Avon let's, the magic. Let's see with our fate chart because I'm, we're also in this channel, Sean. I want to teach people. A lot of people that play solo are just playing, even not even doing a narrative story. They're just going, yup, it didn't work. It did work. They're not even doing a story. And almost none of them, or a lot of them, don't teach people. That's why I wanted to start this, because I want to teach people how I play. So, are there any new threads? That means there are any new things we got to do? No, there isn't. Chaos rank. Chaos rank is five. It goes uh, up to six. We are not doing good. Damara got uh, hit her eyeball. Has throw up on herself. The druid got bit in the foot. It should be a seven because you know, a uh, the, uh, even though uh, you were success, you were partially successful with Avon, the wizard, and made it more of a headache. We're not even. We only passed the first door, and there's a lot more. Let me zoom out for everybody to see. There's a lot more we gotta do. <laughs> that, that might be a giant. We don't know what's gonna be in that big room. Maybe we, it's something small, we, like, we could, could, but could, so powerful. It that it, it, like, it could even be gas. The whole room fills with gas. But how do we find out? Or a booby trap room. But how do we find out? To roll on a table. To roll on a table, everybody. And with that, we it. with that, happy gaming, everybody. Uh, bye. Say bye, Sean. Don't be, uh, don't be, don't have, we better have luck with that fungus monster. <laughs> well, we're going to find or out. Or maybe it can crush it and go, we boing. We're going to find out. And take 10 damage. Yeah. We better find out. We're going to find out what that fungus monster has. Maybe it has a person inside. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Yim, yim. Bye, everybody.